Hello class, can I explain any marketing concepts? Professor Siegfried, what is secondary data? Well Sara, to meet the marketer's information needs the researcher can gather secondary data. Secondary data consists of information that already exists somewhere, having been collected for another purpose. Professor, can you give examples of secondary data sources? Internal sources of data include company sales and marketing reports, accounting and financial records. Lastly, external sources are available from federal and state governments, trade associations, annual reports, library sources, syndicated resources, magazine and newspaper articles and statistical agencies. Professor, what's the advantage of secondary data? The advantages of secondary data are as follows. 1. It is economical. It saves efforts and expenses. 2. It is time-saving. 3. It helps to make primary data collection more specific since with the help of secondary data, we are able to make out what are the gaps and deficiencies and what additional information needs to be collected. 4. It helps to improve our understanding of the problem. 5. It provides a basis for comparison for the data that is collected by the researcher. OK Professor, what are the disadvantages of secondary data? The disadvantages are as follows. 1. Accuracy of secondary data may not be known. 2. Data may be outdated. 3. Not proprietary information. In most cases secondary research is not undertaken specifically for one specific company. Often. It is available for free or a fee. Consequently, there is rarely an information advantage gained by those who obtain the research. Thanks Professor, for this explanation of secondary data.